Hey guys, what is going on? So this video is going to be how to um, recover data from a uh, broken iPhone. So with this, you can pretty much uh, re recover any data, whether it's pictures, notes, anything. Um, so a client brought this to me. It's an iPhone 6s and it is pretty bent. And he told me that it got ran over by a car. And um, so the reason that I think that this phone is salvage salvageable is because if you look down the phone, um, the bottom half is broken. And well, the bottom half is the most bent. And up here is where your motherboard is. And this part to me looks pretty unfazed. It's just the bottom part. So honestly, what I'm thinking is that um, in order to recover this data, all we're gonna have to do is a digitizer replacement. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to get out my iPhone 6s digitizer. And uh, the link for this is gonna be in the description. So go ahead and pick that up in the Amazon link in the description. This part is relatively cheap. Shouldn't run you anything over $25, $30. So what we're gonna have to do to replace this is we're gonna put that aside for now. And then we are going to go ahead and Oh my God, I almost forgot. So first we have to start at the bottom of the phone. Right here is where the battery connects to um, the battery port. So we're gonna go ahead and take both of these screws out. And then you're gonna wanna keep your screws very organized and you are gonna want to unplug this. And the reason you're gonna wanna unplug this before going ahead and disassembling uh, your digitizer ports is because if you leave this plugged in, then you can have a um, power charge um, and that can totally ruin your phone. So now what I'm doing is I am unscrewing the, the four screws up on top here to take this plate off. All right, so now we can go ahead and lift this plate off. And uh, as you can see from beforehand, the um, digitizer flex cables from the digitizer that was torn off, they are still there. So what we can do is we don't really care about these. So honestly, we can just pull them out. You don't have to be rough with, or, rough with it or anything. And this is kind of a, a unique situation. So not, a, not all of you guys are gonna encounter this. Um, so anyway, now that we got this off, we are going to go ahead and put our new digitizer on. So I have my new digitizer right here, which I got from the link in the description. And um, all we're gonna have to do is really plug this in, plug this digitizer into the new phone. And uh, they're just like Legos. That's the best way to explain it. They're just like Legos. So they just clip in very easily. So there's that top one. And then the bottom one is kind of giving me a hard time right now. All right, so I got both of my uh, ports in right now. So now, what I'm gonna wanna do is, uh, lastly, you always want to plug your power, um, your battery in. So we're just gonna clip that in and that goes in very easily. And then after that, we are going to want to take a power cord and plug the phone in. And as we can see, we are getting a little battery symbol. So everything is working and now our phone is turning on. So our phone has just turned on. Um, now all you have to do is enter the passcode and you can recover all your data. Um, you can either plug it into your computer or you can upload it to Google Photos or whatever you choose. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe and like the video.